Return to the park. Oh, well, just the Premier League. I keep getting confused by that. <laughs> Return to the Premier League then for Manchester United, coming off the back of their grueling matchup uh, between Colchester United and the other Cup, where they progress pretty much by the skin of their teeth up to face the champions Leicester City next. But today, they're up against newly promoted Burnley, who look to have a couple of familiar faces in their side. Well, as you can see, Chelsea pretty much running away with it at the moment. Now the only unbeaten side in the league after beating Manchester United in the last league encounter. And a table a table of two teams. Manchester United 19 goals, which is the best in the Premier League, up against a free-falling Burnley who only scored four and won only the once so far this season. Sean Dyche is having a real tough time to even get points in this league at the moment. Jose has had to swap everyone around. David De Gea is back in goal with Valencia, Bailly, Blind and Chris Smalling and Luke Shaw in a five-man defence. It's Carrick, Rooney, Mkhitaryan and um, number 23 there for some reason. I'm not really sure who that is. Now that I have to think about it. Am I looking at even the wrong team? I'm confused. <laughs> for Burnley, it is Tom Heaton in goal with Michael Keane in defence, the two man returning players from Manchester United, uh, in the former Manchester United side. And uh, obviously, with only scoring four goals, it is going to be a problem. Manchester United scoring 19, as you saw. He will get the ball, and that was poor play, really. Really. Moves towards Marcus Rashford. He's going to put it back towards Luke Shaw. But is he offside? No, he's not. It stands. Luke Shaw has scored for Manchester United. I was almost certain he was offside. He looks so far forward there. But no, it stands. And Luke Shaw is a Manchester United scorer. Sean Dyche has got to be furious with the fact that Luke Shaw, he looks so far offside. But the goal has stood. Kevin Friend has consulted his linesman and both said that Luke Shaw was onside, there was no flag so Luke Shaw has given Manchester United the lead one of the most unlikely scorers has scored and United have the lead and as we were talking about that Swansea City have also scored against Stoke City Victorian plays in Valencia and he's beaten his man Plays out to Marcus Rashford. He plays it back to Martial anyway. Valencia comes in and it's a great save by Tom Heaton. What a strike by Valencia this is. That is wonderfully done. And Tom Heaton, it's going... I think it hit the bar. Or Tom Heaton put it onto the bar. United corner. Fantastic save from the former United keeper. Corner to United. What a strike from Valencia that was. With the resulting corner out towards Martial. Well, there's Martial. Going to fall to Wayne Rooney. Back into call into action. Tom Heaton with a good punch away. And United have been penalised anyway. Wayne Rooney is a long way offside. It has come off Martial, so it is con in some way considered a pass. I don't think there was much Wayne Rooney could do about it, to be honest. It would have been a Burnley kind of goal kick anyway. So... Either way, Burnley would have had the ball. Marcus Rashford brilliantly played. Martial off the post. And infringement given against Martial. It's a Burnley free kick. His team at the lead. Michael Carrick of all people. And uh, that wasn't bad, was it? Michael Carrick. Fancy just chances, didn't he? This is a great shot. Tom Heaton once again really beaten there and it's just wide of the post so precise and it even goes somewhere with United might not look pretty but it does work Martial is put that's a penalty surely that is a penalty Martial clearly would have got the ball there he's pushed literally in the box and the referee has not given anything Michael Carrick has played in Marcus Rashford Marcus Rashford has played it back to Rooney who's built it down wonderfully and is just wide Wade Rooney superb shot 
Tom Heaton beaten again, but again, it's just not coming off for Manchester United. But what a spectacular effort by the captain Wayne Rooney. End of the first half here at Old Trafford and Manchester United have a very unexpected lead considering the squad shakeup from one of the most unlikely scorers in Luke Shaw who I believe gets his first goal for the club if not his second. I can't really remember if he scored in a previous matchup but in any case he has given United the lead here. Manchester United 1, Burnley 0. Back to Old Trafford, Di Marnie is coming off for Fernando Marquinez in a Burnley substitution. Smalling. A little poor tackle. The referee has played advantage. He might bring that back for a foul and a card later on. But meantime, it's Marcus Rashford. It's wonderfully put back to Rooney. He's slow, but he shoots. And Wayne Rooney has been really good this afternoon. And it is a booking for Gray. And uh, rightly so. Because I don't even swing, I don't think even Swarm is on the ball here. He's not. He's already kicked it, and Blair, Gray's already gone in. He's very lucky not to see red, as far as I'm concerned. And he's just trying to chirp with the cross. Smalling. He's going to play in Marcus Rashford. Brilliantly done. But now, Marcus Rashford didn't score on that occasion. Almost everything he touches turns to goals. But this is wonderful. Marcus Rashford curates magic well for Burnley. To three consecutive corners in the space of a minute. Well, he has kept it. It's fallen to Ward, who's done well, very well. And he has scored for Burnley. Fantastic goal. And finally, something goes right for Sean Dice. And immediately, the players surround him. Vokes did really, really well there. Every credit to him. And David De Gea is normally incomparable has been beaten here Blind the great first touch from Vokes puts it round Blind and he puts it from a very tight angle straight past De Gea very well done by I believe it's Sam Vokes and Sean Dyche finally gets some luck for his effort he's had a really tough time with Burnley in this Premier League season so far but that might just lighten them up a bit Sam Vokes is giving Burnley an equaliser. One all here now. Ashford. He's going to play in Rudy. Rudy has got there. He pulls it wonderfully back to Rashford. And uh, it's just not working for him today, is it? Wayne Rudy's back heel. Majestic. He almost looked like he knew Rashford was going there. It's a great cutout. And Burnley scorer Sam Vokes is going off for Ashley Barton before we had this corner. Martial. Actually, Martial with five minutes of added on time. Tom Heaton, Marcus Rashford, he's done it again. Oh my goodness, even when he has a quiet game, Marcus Rashford can do no wrong. In Fergie time has just started, and whoa else but Marcus Rashford. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest celebration ever. Marcus Rashford there to poach it in after a great save from Tom Heaton from Anthony Marthy out. And that's all Marcus Rashford needs. This kid is absolutely incredible. He's not had the most lively of games, but when Marcus Rashford is on point there to score, he takes it. And that's his sixth goal of the league this season. He's got to be already on 10 when you add in all the other goals he scored in other competitions as well. Marcus Rashford, the story never seems to end. Manchester United back in the lead with seconds left. Mkhitaryan. Oof. Better the goalkeeper. And that is the end of the game. And uh, that boy Rashford just cannot stop scoring. But he's hardly had a sniff all game. He's rarely had the ball, but when he's there, he's there. And uh, Burnley, a draw is really, unfortunately, ripped away from them. And Sean Dyson's luck just sees no sign of improving. But when that boy, Marcus Rashford, is on the pitch, even if he has a quiet game, you can't keep your eyes off him for 90 minutes.
because he will make you pay and he did once again Manchester United despite the grog that was their Colchester matchup they somehow pulled out a win today it didn't look very likely but as Fergie time started Marcus Rashford scored it and uh, that boy's run just continues to go on and on how many will he get um, it's um, it's I, no one could even hazard a guess and uh, Manchester United have won here today by two goals to one but Tom Heaton deserves a credible mention for some spectacular saves today including that one United win here and uh, United win here by two goals to one the concurring matchups today Crystal Palace lost against Liverpool by a goal to nil whereas Everton ultimately lost against West Ham by two goals to one Middlesbrough the promoted side taking a lead and win against Bournemouth Spurs lose against the champions Leicester City by a goal to nil Stoke and Swansea ended 2-0 Watford and Hull City ended 1-0 but the huge surprise is at the Hawthorns as Pep Guardiola's season continues to crash West Brom 2 Manchester City nil let's have a look at the, bar, uh, the Premier League table then Manchester United clear leaders now by uh, a matter of two points ahead of Chelsea and a heavily catching up Arsenal in third Middlesbrough fourth with Spurs in fifth this table is so topsy-turvy it's unbelievable Crystal Palace are sitting in sixth West Brom are seventh Watford are eighth Hull are ninth and Liverpool are tenth the champions move up to eleventh Manchester City what is happening they're in free fall but in the relegation zone is Dave Moises Sunderland with Everton and Burnley who suffer their ninth loss of the season against Manchester United and they're sitting on three points it doesn't look completely dire though although they are now eight points from safety second half of the Europa League group stages the fixtures are reversed now Aruka are at home to face Manchester United here in Portugal tonight great head back heel there Manchester United's uh, play this season has been all pretty unlike Jose Mourinho, Jose Lingard puts it in 1-0 Manchester United hit immediately there's no stopping this team at the moment great pass from Mata here but Correa unselfish and lays it off to Jesse Lingard and that man is uh, scoring for fun at the moment and it seems that all Manchester United's players are on purple patches to form the way they're playing they're almost unstoppable they did suffer that loss to Chelsea don't forget but that's been their only loss of the season so far Jesse Lingard looks to have the run continue but his third goal in the Europa League already for Jesse Lingard well no heroics from Bacali this time Gave Aaron Hillman a game, didn't he? Oh, it's handball against Jones. Penalty. And I think he's unfortunate, but at the same time, that did look like clear handball to me. An unlikely chance of the goal here. And he's put it in. It's Kaka who makes it one all to Aruka. And uh, it definitely is the correct decision. I don't think there's any doubt that Manchester United can have Phil Jones trying to intercept the ball with his feet. And the ball went past him. Menzar. Menzar, what a beautiful pass. Bastian Schweinsteiger has scored. Beautiful stuff from United. And Bastian Schweinsteiger has scored again. He scored against Chelsea. It's a great ball by Fuzi Menzar. Schweinsteiger still showing that he's got some pace. A great strike. And Bastian has given United back the lead. And uh, Rapid Club have taken the lead against Zenit. Oh, and that's a penalty. Surely it is again. And it's Phil Jones again. That's a clear penalty. And uh, let's see this. Yeah, clear penalty. Again, no complaints from Phil Jones. Manchester United have not had a good day in terms of conceding penalties. Oh, it's Kakar again. And uh, which way will they go this time? Romero already knows a little bit about him from earlier. Oh, it's straight at him. It's so poor from Kaka. Romero saves it. That is a poor penalty. Should be doing much better. Straight at him. The shot looked tame from where I was sitting. 
And Manchester United have been dealt a lucky break. He conceded everything in the first game from the other side. And he's done the same here. That's one matter. No stopping that one. Well, I don't think he's hit it cleanly, one matter, but he'll take it. Oh, oh, wow. What a strike by Safina. And Aruka get a goal back. Oh, what a strike this is. Romero with a poor throw. Well, not really poor. It's more the touch from Bastian Schweinsteiger that's more poor. He put it into the Ruka player's path. And then this pass here avoids this strike. Rojo try or Jones tries to avoid handball given against him because he's had such a poor night in terms of giving away penalties tonight. But it doesn't even matter. As he's uh, Sequina has given Ruka maybe a lifeline here, but time is running out. He keeps this up. Manchester United will want to buy him. And uh, they're obviously in the race for Griezmann, so supposedly and it's Marta he's put it in but he is offside uh, no he's not actually Marta scored again 4-2 to United I thought he was offside let's see well Correa doesn't want to take this on so he passes to Marta who probably is offside to a degree I really think Marta's more offside there it's not the best shot from Marta in the world but he'll take it well the flag didn't go up so Marta scores a second goal tonight and that really does put it all beyond doubt now. Welcome to the Liberty Stadium for more Premier League action today. It's Swansea City and Manchester United who have some bad news coming from the training ground as Anjo Herrera got injured and tore his groin and he will be out for two months and such an inspirational player in the middle of the park for Manchester United that is not where they need. Look at that. Surprise leaders in Arsenal at the top of the table at the moment and United just a point behind them. So it looks like Arsenal finally are starting to find their feet now. Looks like their new signs are really coming through really well. Well starting from, uh, they're actually one of the uh, top teams in the Premier League uh, in terms of scoring. So 21 goals hasn't necessarily led to the top of the league. It's always funny how the, uh, the Premier League goes these days, especially considering Leicester won it last season. Not for Swansea, starting today for Goodlane is Firmino in goal with Reinhold Fernandez, Amat and Kingsley. It's Britain with Cork in the centre of the park. These things go way too fast for me to read. Uh, Wayne Routledge makes the bench for Swansea today. Today's Manchester United side forced into some changes today. David De Gea starting goal with Simidou by PK and Luke Shaw. It's Rooney with Carrick, Mkhitaryan, Pogba and Martial in the middle. And Pogba will play behind Slatan Ibrahimovic. There's a surprise inclusion of the bench of Aaron Hemwood, who doesn't really play away games that much, but I guess due to the Europa League, changes would have to be made. Let's see if he makes an appearance today. Pogba plays to Slatan. And uh, Slatan obviously returning himself from a broken toe recently. Slatan! Uh, that wasn't a bad strike, was it? Zlatan Ibrahimovic often does the incredible. And that was almost in the top corner. Keeper was well beaten. Great strike. And obviously he'll need a bit of time to find his feet after becoming from a broken toe earlier in the season. So Manchester United not at full strength. And that's been a problem all season for him. They've had injuries across the board. And a Herrera. Yeah, a torn groin. He's going to be out for three months. As we said at the top of the show. Uh, Herrera, such an influential presence this season. Slatan again, he's put it in the bottom corner. Slatan Ibrahimovic is back with a goal. You spent nothing less from him. Great goal here. And with that, Manchester United will now go top of the league. Right in the corner, Tramel not saving that one. It's a wonderful strike from Slatan. Low and hard in the corner. And uh, Swansea now behind, and you'd probably say it was coming really. And she's now had the bulk of the chances. David De Gea has had nothing to do in the first few minutes. And Slatan Ibrahimovic returns from injury with a goal, and uh, that's just like him. Swansea nil, Manchester United one at the 20 minutes here. And was fouled. Referee well, didn't think so. It's full to Slatan. It's off the post. And Mkhitaryan, oh he's, oh he's blown it, 
Mikatari, what was he doing? Was he trying to walk into the net? What on earth went on there? Henry Mikatari seemed to have a brain cramp, to be honest. That was bizarre. It was almost like Mikatari wanted to walk into the back of the net. The ball came off Slatter, and I think he hit the woodwork. Here's Montero down the other end, and David De Gea is straight out in front of that shot, and it goes out for a corner. Well, all action here in the last few minutes, and what a strike that is, and what a save by David De Gea. And he is back in the team today. Didn't play against the rookie of the Europa League. No need to, of course. Manchester United were probably expected to win comfortably, and in the end they did, even though Ruka were a tough task. And a good take by David De Gea there. Here's Britain to Livermore. Now Cork. Oh, Cork's gone past Shaw. And David De Gea is saved again. And hashtag Dave saves is in effect. Good save. Straight at him, but he still had to make corners to Swanson. Slatan gets pushed. Advantage gained as he kept the ball. But Slatan, it's going to be hard to catch it. Oh, he's caught it. Slatan. Good save by the keeper. In comes Mikatari. It's in the top corner. It's 2 0. And uh, it's typical Manchester United, isn't it? Mikatari takes the lead. And he made up for his blunder earlier where he tried to walk into the back of the net. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Manchester United have a beeline course towards the top of the league. This is a great take from Slatan. He's not known for his pace. He said that one well and he was nowhere near that from Mkhitaryan. What a strike. It's about time Henry Mkhitaryan got a bit of a run of games. He's been in, not out of favour, just not really picked as much as you'd think. But uh, Mkhitaryan makes good on that one. And uh, that's his second goal of the league this season already. He scored one earlier. That's the end of the first half. Convincing performance from Manchester United. Goal from the returning Slatad Ibrahimovic and uh, Heimer Mkhitaryan has made it 2-0 with Manchester United heading towards the top of the table as of right now with another half to play. Swansea have rarely threatened as times they have. The excellence of David De Gea has denied them. Swansea City nil, Manchester United 2. Welcome to the Liberty Stadium. Here we are kicking off for the second half. Manchester United have a 2-0 lead here. It's been rather comfortable for them to be honest. Swansea have rarely threatened and David De Gea has literally dealt with the rest. Apart from one that went over the bar from a header earlier. And in any case, Manchester United seeming rather comfortable as of now. Well, as we said earlier, Manchester United have Arsenal on the return from the international break. That's promising to be a cracker looking at the table right now. Ogba, Ibrahimovic to Carrick. Michael Carrick of all people take up a shot. Not a bad one, you know. Michael Carrick. I don't think he's scored as yet for United. And that's not a bad strike. It's almost to the corner from Michael Carrick. Superb stuff. United, in a relatively comfortable performance to the top of the table as of now. Really, Paul Pogba, delightful chip it's in. Paul Pogba 3-0. Absolutely delightful. And Manchester United definitely going to the top of the league for this weekend. And that'll be a great show of confidence for them going into the international break. Paul Pogba here, absolutely sublime. That is absolutely peach perfect from Pogba. And uh, I think it's fair to say that Paul Pogba is going to have no problem paying back the huge transfer fee of £83.5 million. And he is paying it back in goals in abundance and the famous jab. <laughs> but he scores the goals and that's all Jose Mourinho will care about. And that is, uh, it's cut us off. I wanted to see how many pool comes Paul Pogba scored there. And the title said, no, you're not doing it. But uh, in any case, 3-0 to United. And it looks like uh, curtains up for Swansea in terms of anything getting from this game is concerned. Pogba, Slatan, Ibrahimovic. And Slatan has gone down to the box. Penalty given. 
Is it a penalty? And uh, no, it's a free kick. I think the foul started outside the box, to be fair. So Slatan, we get a chance of a free kick here. And Memphis Depay, so Slatan will take it instead. And he's going to build this into the corner. And he comes. Oh, in off the bar. Slatan Ibrahimovic, absolutely superb. Another free kick scored for Manchester United. Their set pieces are looking absolutely unbelievable. Look at this for Slatan. The wall doesn't move and he puts it onto the bar. What a free kick from Slatan. The keeper is nowhere. That is absolutely one of the best struck free kicks I think I've ever seen. Everything this man does turns to magic. And Slatan Ibrahimovic has his uh, third goal in the league this season and his second today. He's not been really amongst the goals, but he's been out for two months. Comes back, and he gets two. And Manchester United get four. And Swansea are nowhere near them. Manchester United, with your beeline towards the top. Arsenal, it's your move. Swansea nil, United four. We're going to have a Manchester United substitution. A surprise appearance here from Aaron Henwood, who's going to come on for Michael Carrick. Not often that Aaron plays the games that much, but Josie wants to give him a bit of a run. He's not played for a while. Aaron Hillwood struggled as well, especially with the penalty spot. He's only got two goals this season for the whole entirely, I think. Or maybe just the one. In any case, Aaron Hillwood is going to make an appearance for the final 20 minutes. Mkhitaryan, Ibrahimovic. And Aaron Hillwood is already getting in on the act. Here he is, Aaron Henwood, what an impact he's made, instant goal from Aaron Henwood, who knew, oh my, well, instant impact from Aaron Henwood to make it 5-0, and that is a load off his back, I can tell you, he's kind of struggled this season so far, but he clearly puts that one into the corner, he looks terribly off balance there, I hope he's okay. But uh, Jose is having a ball here at the Liberty Stadium today. Swansea nil, Manchester United 5. And Aaron Henwood finally opens his Premier League account. Swansea corner. Montero takes it all the way to Aaron Henwood. Now is he going to get this? You bet he is. You bet he's going to fight for it. Great play from Aaron Henwood to keep with it there. Now what's he going to do? Aaron Henwood is going to run all the way. He's going to go all the way. I would expect nothing less. And Henwood has stopped at the final hurdle to get his second goal of the game. Wonderful play from Aaron Henwood. That's what you'd expect from him about 90% of the time. And there it is. Full time whistle to end Swansea's suffering today. Manchester United impeccable performance. Slatan Ibrahimovic and the man of a match performance. With two goals today, including a beautiful free kick. And uh, other goals. Uh, one for Mkhitaryan as well. Even Aaron Henwood getting on the act after coming on as a substitute for Michael Carrick. And uh, Manchester United just absolutely all over Swansea today. And uh, Pogba got one as well, don't forget. It's been a rout here at the Liberty Stadium. Swansea City nil. Manchester United a very convincing five. So with no concurrent matches today, going into the international break, the table looks like this. Manchester United have the lead by two points. So if Arsenal were to beat them on their return, they would go back to the top after that. Middlesbrough right there on the heels of the top two in front of Chelsea. Unbelievable run for Middlesbrough today to come straight up and to go straight into third place in a fairy tale story right now. Watford are in fifth in another surprise. Spurs down to sixth. And all the kind of big teams are really struggling this season. The champions are back up to 8th. Liverpool in 12th. And Manchester City still on the bubble on 17th. Just short of the relegation zone. Filled by Everton, Sunderland and Burnley. Who are starting to get a run going now. They're right at just a point off, um, a point off uh, Everton. But a further 6th from safety. Uh, but Manchester City and Pep Guardiola, what is going on? Won three, drawn three, and lost five. Something on the other side of Manchester is going really badly wrong.